Aries. Welcome to January 2018. Love reading. It's Raina here. I wanted to say 17. Still getting used to that one. So Aries, I want to make a couple of announcements. I have the 2018 tarot forecast on my channel. So check that out if you haven't seen it. And I have a 2018 love reading for singles on Vimeo and the link is below for that and um, so this just like laying out the cards here <laughs> sometimes I like to just smoosh the piles around here and uh, yeah I just woo interesting I'm just um, going to do this Okay. Let's look here. I'm just collecting all my cards, getting everything out. Nice and tidied up here. So my cards are all. Oh boy, oh boy. Okay. Uh, so let's talk about this devil here. <laughs> the devil. Well, Aries, do you know what the devil stands for? The devil is a card that's actually connected to Capricorn. And the, because, well, I mean, it's Saturn, okay? It's funny, Saturn's going into Capricorn uh, in January, or well, actually, I'm recording this in December. It's actually happening in December, but um, in January, you'll have the sun and, and uh, whatchamacallit in Capricorn. Um, New Moon in Capricorn, Saturn in Capricorn, a lot of Capricorn energy. And Capricorn for you is your 10th house of career. Okay, so is that creating problems for any of you? Have you allowed your... Because um, this can be a card of excessive material um, materialism. And that creating some kind of impediment in your life. And um, for some people, this card can relate to so some other kind of addiction. So uh, perhaps a sexual relationship with somebody that is, it's not uh, anything other than that. Aries is a very sensual sign, and I really always observe that and for various reasons, you know, reading a lot of biographies, autobiographies of famous people, and observing in my own life. And I just found out not too long ago that in one of my books, or wherever I saw it, maybe online, about Aries, and they said because it's ruled by Mars, and Mars is actually the sex drive, the libido. You you have Venus, which is about love, and Mar Mars, which is about, you could say lust, or you could say just physical attraction, and these are the divine lovers. And so they represent the two parts of romantic love, right? But the problem is that it's not really romantic if it's only the sexual attraction, okay? So that's what, what sometimes happens is you have somebody who is into the body, you know, the pentacles are all the earth signs. But um, when it's excessive, it can lead to um, this overindulgence, okay? And in the past position here, we have the fool. So it's almost like 
talking about some Aries people who have kind of started a new phase in their life journey. And it's it's kind of like if if you've gotten divorced particularly after many years. And it's like you're a kid in the candy shop. And it's like uh you know getting let out of prison and it's overindulging because you were like in this monogamous relationship and now you're free to do whatever the heck you want to do but it is excessive and it's not leading you to happiness okay and this is a card that represents right now it's funny I wonder if any of you are involved with Pisces because I just did Pisces reading and I was getting a similar theme and I was even kind of hinting at Aries in a certain way because I got a lot of fire energy for them. And this is a card that I, that when, this is one of the cards I got. The Nine of Pentacles I would associate with Virgo specifically, but of course the other earth signs are Capricorn, there you go, and uh, Taurus. Now, for the present position, it can be one of those uh, those things where you you're dealing with someone who you may be very physically attracted to likewise this person may um, be well-to-do and that is an attraction if you are somebody who is you know you like your uh, bling and, and all that stuff you like you like the finer things of life and this person can provide that they may have a nice home a very comfortable home now the thing about it is, this is either the person that can help you or they are the cause of your problems, <laughs> you know, because, um, and I would um, lean towards that they are causing the problems because, again, they may even be like an earth sign. And so there's that earthy quality to them that you find appealing, but they're not really meshing well with you uh, in terms of temperament, in terms of other aspects. And so it's kind of like a situation that may be ne leading nowhere. But it's it, because this, the physical chemistry is very strong, it's almost like it's intoxicating. And the, and the devil card can deal with any, any kind of addiction. But it's, it's interesting that we, we don't really think of uh, sexual uh, behavior that is compulsive or just obsessive as being a, is being like intoxicating and yet it can be I mean it can really cloud somebody's judgment and keep them in situations that are degrading even sometimes because when when you know deep down in your heart that you're using somebody for their money or for sexual reasons there's a feeling of it's a low energy, you know what I mean? And it's not, it, I'm not saying this to shame anybody, but I'm talking about, I'm, I'm bringing it up because I'm saying that you would have felt this. You would know what I'm talking about. And so it's interesting because this is the spiritual message in this particular situation. And it's the Ten of Cups. And this is a card of marriage and family harmony. So... It's kind of like this stark contrast, and I think it's talking about keeping your eyes on the prize. If you're looking for love, and you're, you know, with cups versus pentacles, you're looking for the actual emotional uh, fulfillment that, the, that it provides, instead of just like this indulge, indulgence, um, that's on the sensual level, that, it, that kind of like, is it takes your mind off of your problems and stuff but it doesn't really uh, move you spiritually then you have to go after it um, on that level in other words you can't you can't take something that is one way and try to make it into something else you have to meet a situation where it is and that means I think for Aries, that you have to invest time in a situation, okay? 
It's easy to go to a bar and pick somebody up and take them home. It's a lot harder to gradually get to know someone, maybe go out for coffee, go out for a, or today, go out for a green smoothie, you know, during the day and do something wholesome and, um, and just talk and get to know them and, and be patient with it, see how they are. That is the long-term mentality. But Aries, a lot of times, is impatient, is, you know, but this is due to your enthusiasm. So I'm not saying that in a negative way, really. It's like you're, you're so eager that you, you want to cut to the chase. You want to move to the, the, you know, the next level, even though it might be premature. And then you are kind of like looking in the rearview mirror and saying, oh gosh, what have I gotten myself into? The, the card that um, indicates the challenge for you is represented by the Four of Cups. So this is a card of, again, and I think I had kind of mentioned this, taking your mind off your problems, using a relationship to kind of, and especially if it's, like I say, you know, um, one of these relationships that are not really love related, but just kind of the physical uh, variety, that using that as a way to kind of uh, mask your, your uh, dissatisfaction in other areas of your life and, and generating this kind of false excitement, you know, through this kind of thing and it's kind of like a fast food passion it's not really that satisfaction that comes from a real uh, relationship and I'd ask you when was the last time you had a real romantic heartfelt relationship this is a card of also if you see that the the cloud is holding out a cup and the person is not receiving it with enthusiasm. It's asking you, do you accept love? Or do you kind of reject people who seem, you know, because this is number four, who seem stable in favor of people who are more unpredictable, thinking that it's more exciting. Because I was, this, this is one of those things. This could be somebody who is very together and yet you crave that person represented by the devil card because they are they keep you on your toes and there's nothing that Aries people love more than a challenge if somebody is too available you may become like the four of cups and you may get bored you you get bored very easily and that's dangerous when it comes to relationships because Unless you are with somebody who is uh, challenging you, uh, interesting you in a healthy way, what it can easily devolve into is someone who is elusive, who is unstable, and that you gravitate like a moth to the flame because that feels like edgy it feels dangerous and you like how that feels you're a daredevil and the problem is that you're the one that will get burned with such a relationship and so uh, you know the talking about uh, Aries playing with fire you will get burned and um, you won't get what you want and that's the important thing and that's what I deal with with these types of relationships now when I do love readings on YouTube or in private, when I'm talking, or any type of reading, I'm talking about what you can bring to it. It's not about being a fortune teller and saying what's going to happen in your life because you have to be an active participant in your life. And I think most Aries people are. You're not, you are not fatalistic people, generally speaking. You tend to take action, sometimes a little bit impulsively. But what I'm asking you to do is pull back and say, you know, what exactly are you chasing because you may be chasing somebody who is less than stable and in the long run it can create a world of 
um, I was going to say a world of hurt, but really a, a world of chaos. The advice or what's coming in, um, this is another card that I had in the exact same position with Pisces. It's actually connected to the sign of Pisces. So it could be a relationship with the Pisces or a strong Piscean influence. This would be a person who is very innocent. You can look in their eyes and they have dreamy eyes. They don't have to be a water sign, but if they are, the water signs are Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, especially Pisces with that fish jumping out of the cup. Um, they could be artistic. They, they could be very... Um, in some cases, they could be a lot younger than you at, at you know, um, also they could be kind of like someone who is very innocent to the point of being gullible and, uh, you know, a little bit naive about how life works. So they tend to just be overly trusting. And it's funny because you will have a lot in common with them in that regard. Aries people I see uh, a lot like Pisces, ironically. Even though one sign is the first sign and one is the last. I see a lot of similar qualities where there is that sense of freshness. Um, Pisces is considered the most karmic sign because it's the last sign. So it's like this old soul. But I still, a lot of times, will see a Pisces person as really trusting people, seeing the good in people. With Aries, a lot of times it's like you're a blank slate. You're the first sign. So you're all about the future. You don't live in the past. This could also be a new relationship in general that is, you know, just getting off the ground. It's in its infancy stage, but it's a love relationship. Exactly what I was talking about. With this, with this card. And here's another page. Fresh energy, okay? And you do have uh, a couple of major arcana cards. So this might be a time uh, for you, Aries, where you see um, some movement in terms of uh, things happening for you. Okay, Page of Wands could be a message that is received. Now, of course, this doesn't have to be through the mail. You may receive a phone call from somebody or an email, and it's it's like someone that you have met. Maybe you've met the person, and you're starting this uh, correspondence, or you hear some news, maybe a friend of a friend. Hey, you know, at that party the other night, uh, so-and-so was looking at you. They think you're really, um, you seem like a, a neat person, and blah, blah, blah. And that's uh, getting you excited again because what we have up here is there may be this sense of being stuck in some kind of a loop where you're in this toxic situation and the page of wands is like initiating something uh the the beginnings of something that's really good that's really uh positive and i think that's something that you need so it can be uh, that this page is your emotional state, and this is the, the, the person it could be. So it could be a fellow fire sign. Aries, your sign, uh, Leo or Sagittarius. And, um, yeah, start spreading the news. There's something good for you coming your way, uh, perhaps, that is very, uh, it kind of like injects, uh, life back into you and you feel like um, just that 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 typical Aries enthusiasm coursing through your veins so um, that's wonderful and I hope that uh, you have a wonderful uh, January Aries if you'd like a private reading uh, my website is rainamoonastrology.com the link is below I wish you all the best in January bye